Praise the Lord, everyone. I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and today's Megabyte comes from the story of Moses. His story begins where Joseph's story ends in Exodus chapter 1. It tells us that Joseph and his brothers find residence down in Egypt, and they're prospering there. But after many years passed, Joseph died, and all of his brothers died. But their families lived on. As a matter of fact, their families grew into the 12 tribes that became the 12 nations, or actually um, one great nation down in Egypt. The Bible says that by the time they got to Egypt, they were only 70 in number. But about 400 years later, they were about 5 million in number. So they grew expeditiously, to say the least. And the Bible says that the Egyptians noticed that the Hebrews had outnumbered them. They were multiplied over the face of the entire land. And so they made what I'd like to call today a fear-driven decision. They decided to have all of the little baby boys killed and they decided to put the Israelites in bondage. Today's Megabyte has to do with not making fear-driven decisions. The Bible teaches us that God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. In our lesson today, we see that an entire nation was put into bondage just because the Egyptians had fear. Their fear was if they ever went to war, maybe the Hebrews would side with their enemies and fight against them a fear-driven decision. They decided to have all the little baby boys put to death. Again, another fear-driven decision. A lot of times throughout life, if we're not careful, the spirit of fear can overtake our mind. There are so many phobias today, not just the fear of height, uh, but there is the fear that things won't go good. Uh, the, there are a lot of people that don't make good, strong, positive steps forward because there is a fear of failure. There's a fear. Well, there's a fear to be in love. There's a fear to get married. There's a fear to leave one bad job and search for another one. There's a fear to get out of a bad relationship and search for another one. Well, I want to exhort you today not to make a fear-driven decision, but trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not into your own understanding. In all of your ways, you acknowledge the Lord and He will direct your path. I would like you to go to my website at ekcministries.org. There you will find more inspirational, biblically-based messages that will inspire you to reach your maximum potential because I want to be your destiny connection. Again, I'm Bishop Eric Kincaid Clark, and this has been your Megabyte.